I think there are times throughout history, and even in our recent history, and if we look into ourselves, we can observe this in our daily lives. It's a phenomenon called intentional blindness. We know there are certain wars, like the U.S. of A., and along other countries throughout the world's history, that knowing going into it was sometimes a disaster. And as we entered certain countries, we knew that there was no justification anymore for such a war. But yet we continued to send our forces. We spent billions of dollars. And we've caused tragedies and calamities throughout the world. Because once we're in it, we're not pulling back. I, we see that there's no, that intellectually it doesn't make sense to do such a thing. But we do it. We're certain we're involved in certain occupations where there's a tremendous health hazard. But we know we shouldn't be doing these things. Intellectually, we understand that this is the wrong thing to do. But yet we blind ourselves for a variety of reasons. And we still do those same actions that cause us the harm, that could take away our own lives. This is what we mean when we call intentional blindness. We cause ourselves intentionally, consciously, to blind ourselves and ignore the reality that's sitting in front of us. I don't know if there's a greater example than by Bilam Russia. God, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, gives Nevoah prophecy to a non-Jew, to Bilam. That means that he's hearing in a very, in a way, greater than any of us have ever imagined of hearing. A message from God. He's hearing him speak on some level. He's the one, the conduit that God is giving something over to. He's a Navi, he's a prophet. And yet, HaKadosh Baruch Hu God tries to give him a little bit of room to fall as a free will, Bechira. And he says, me, who is these people with you? Who are these Anashim? Who are these people that are with you? And now Bilam starts working in his head. Maybe God doesn't know everything. Maybe there are certain parts that he's not 100% clear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to curse him. Curse Klal Yisrael. Curse the Jews at a time when maybe I could sneak around. And God won't realize what I'm trying to do. Is Bilam a fool? Is he crazy? Has he lost his mind? He's a prophet. He's seeing God in a way that we can't even imagine. He's living with Hashem on a certain level. And he, now he has the goal, the chutzpah, to think to himself that I'm going to sneak around and curse God's chosen people at a time when God's not going to be aware of it. When he's not going to chap. Because he doesn't really see everything all the time. That's intentional blindness. And as we look at our lives, it happens on a daily basis. Whether it means we know we should be spending more time with our children, and we still push it aside. We know we should be acting with certain types of relationships with other people, and we still don't. We know we should be spending more time when it comes to shul, and it comes to our, we go to our synagogue, and we know we're supposed to be spending a certain quality of time with our Creator, beseeching Him for the things that we like changed or enhanced in our own lives. And yet we ignore His presence. Intellectually, we know what we should be doing. But we blind ourselves for a variety of reasons. And we cause devastation to ourselves. But I think if we, we turn one of the curses that, that Bilam did into a brach, into the blessing as the psukim, as this week's sedra, this week's Torah portion tells us, we could open up our eyes. And that's matovu alecha yakov. And these tents that are so praiseworthy are referring to the Bate Midrashis and the Bate Kinesias, are our study halls and our synagogues. Because through there, we connect to God in a proper manner. And it helps us stay focused. And we're able to see the bigger picture. And we're able to not just intellectually know something, but emotionally connect as well. 
because the study is more involved in the intellectual. That's the tefillin shalroish. That's the tefillin that's on our head. The tefillah is referring to connected the lave is referring to our emotion, which is the tefillin shalyad. And those two together, we combine the intellectual with the emotional. Gives us that special EI, that tremendous health spiritually, that we can see our open our eyes, and we're not blinded anymore, and we see the beauty in everything together, and we start living the way we know we should be living. When we take this step, and we learn from not doing the way Bilam Harasha did, and we start appreciating Matovo Alecha Yaakov, these presents, these beautiful presents that God Hashem has given to us, our eyes will be open. And we'll be seeing a world in such a more beautiful way than we've ever seen before. Have a wonderful Shabbos.